welcome back to another video. I'm Rodog Aid, that's Project D, and today we're at Nebworth for Petrol Hedonism Live. Let's go have a look at the cars. So there's Project D. Today we're invited by Lord Loxley Sham to the Auto Anonymous stand. Um, he's got some wicked cars on here as well. This Escort Mexico is one of his. Running Cosy Power. Look at that. Very nice indeed. Very nice indeed. And this other Mark II here belongs to him. There's the man himself. And this. I'm joking, I'm joking. Lots of people taking pictures. This car is his other one as well. Again, very nice car. Love a Mark II with a Cosy in it. So there's lots of uh, variety on his stand, as always. Got this Mini, we've seen a few times. Um, lots. Mark 1 Escort over there. Nissan Supra. Nice Subaru, very clean. One of the Marshalls uh, owns this ST Fiesta. Fiesta, is it? Focus. Nice BM. Mad Life, they'll probably be doing a video today. They normally do. So make sure you check them out. There you go, there's their socials. Make sure you check them out today. Clown, is that the clown? Yeah, I think. Yeah, no idea about supercars. But McLaren there, and if you look at this, the guy that owns this is actually running a charity show this coming Sunday, week today, no, week tomorrow even. So, give that a look. More cars there, um, static take over there. This one, uh, Obviously, the uh, owner of this has got a really cool name. So, <laughs> got a liveried up Audi here, which actually looks quite nice as well. It's so, like the old school Quattro livery, really. But still looks very nice indeed. So that's some of the cars on your own on a stand anyway. Uh, we're going to try and avoid getting copyrighted today because our last video um, actually had to have parts muted out of it by, by YouTube because of copyright. There is a stand over there and there's a stand over there and they've both got DJs and they're both playing music. So we're going to try and be careful and see what we can do. But let's carry on looking at some of the cars. So Biff Boff Vapes, we see them at most of the places we go to now. And here is the Charisma, Charisma stand. This one uh, we've seen on quite a few of my videos now. Another supercar there, La yeah. uh, Ferrari. I say I'm not great with supercars. Appreciate them. We've got a bit of me, this is. Look at this Dodge Charger. Absolutely lovely, that is. And the paintwork and the bodywork is absolutely flat, straight, and amazing. That's proper, that is. It's huge as well. And we've got a blue one as well. Over here we've got the Dip Monkey Garage stand with quite a few uh, vehicles that we uh, know. Obviously this one we see in a few of our videos and shows. See that one about quite a bit. 
Over here we got Scott, Flappy Door Boy, with his uh, Fiesta with Lambo doors. Again, it's a regular on the channel, one we see a lot. Cobra there, whether it's a replica or not, I don't know. But this thing is mental and I absolutely love it. Look at it. Just check them out. It's mental. I really do. I really do rate this. Absolutely love it. And I bet it's an animal as well. Twin turbo V8. Immortal words there as well. Love it. Now in front of Scott, we've got Steve's car. Another one we see about a lot. Another lovely built Fiesta. So I think he's travelled a fair distance today. <clears throat> Last saw him at Max Power Reunion. Look, look, some flashy LEDs there. Obviously Lambo doors on it as well, RS alloys, focus, WRC body kit, and his, his headlights that he's proud of, and then the engine bay. Good lad is Stu, Steve, oh sorry Steve, get your name right, good lad though. More in a dip monkey garage here. Trans Am over there. Dip Monkey uh, E46. Okay. It looks like a rocket bunny body kit on it. I actually really like this. Look at that. Could be a burnout going on on the stage. But look at that. Really do like that. There's the Dip Monkey crew chilling. Here we have Simon's Focus. He's a massive, absolutely gigantic wing on it. Here we've got another one from the BTC Styling crew. Really like that as well. Red Bull Sat. We've got this other Laguna as well from the BTC styling crew. We would have been with them today, but uh, we got invited by Sham instead. So we'll probably be with them for a few more shows next year. And there's the old brick. Volvo touring car too. Here we've got some lovely movie cars. This, I believe, is like Dom's Charger from Fast and Furious. <laughs> Next to it, we have one that I looked at earlier. Brian's Mitsubishi Eclipse from the first Fast and Furious. And I stuck my head in there earlier. And um, it's even got a laptop on the seat. I don't know if you can spot that down there, yeah. but it's even got checker plate flooring. So I really do rate that, that's really good. And a um, couple of little extra touches, like I say, from the movie. But yeah, I do like that. It's a nice little touches, like I say, I don't know. If you'll be able to see the checker plate in there, so it hasn't flown off yet. Here as well, we've got Brian's Skyline from Too Fast Too Furious, which looks absolutely cool too. And he's got a Lego version of it, pirouetting in the windscreen, which is cool. Here we've got. DK, I reckon it's DK's Nissan as well, from Tokyo Drift, if I'm right. Correct me if I'm wrong. Happens a lot on my videos, me being wrong. 
We've got another skyline here. And the Bennett you told me yesterday, we were looking at this guy yesterday, and he actually makes, no, sorry, it's I think this might have been in one of them. Oh, I'm not sure. And that's it for the, the movie cars. Got some others here. It's obviously a feature car. We featured quite a bit. I might have even been in one of the fields as an extra. This thing looks mental. Mazda with, um, I might be wrong, but it looks like a Honda engine. Could be wrong on that. Are we ready for more awesomeness, yeah. more noise, more horsepower, more burnouts, the, uh, more rubber? Motor addicts are uh, living it up on stage Three, over there, bless them. Two, one, send it! We said like all of them earlier. Oh, look at it, one more, I love that. Definitely something burning out on stage. Don't know what. Have you ever seen a farm truck do that? Very well, clean uh, BMT in here. Very clean. All right, we've got to save some tyres. Phil's going to be back see, tomorrow uh, as well. Who enjoyed tires. that, ladies and gentlemen? Come on, how amazing was that? Farm truck uh, doing burnies. That's all we want to see. You're all right. Ford F1 all right, you've got to strap in now, son. Yeah. More nice. Oh, it's seven now. A load of people taking so videos as well. Uh, Owen's on stage now with his Mark 1 Escort. Now this has appeared, this has appeared on the, um, not this, but that, has appeared on the Motor Addicts channel. Quite a bit of mentalness on it. One of my favourite body styles of the car, a Metro 6R4. Look at that. Note Reddick's actually featured it on their channel. Give it a look. But they just look amazing, these cars. Even the kit cars, the copies like this, absolutely mental. Coming now into the concourse paddock, paddock, I think. A um, couple of cars here we've seen before. A couple of Mustangs, few Mustangs. And it's like baby blue, Nissan. I like the color because it's like the golf livery colors. Just these orange stripes. And this is absolutely spotless. Look at that engine, babe. Absolutely spotless. A few supercars. Hulches. This one, which we've seen a few times now. We um, think we saw it last week as well. Amazing motor. Totally home, home built. Nice clean E36 next to it. Over here we've got some uh, GT40s. Talking of my favourite liveries, or one of my favourite liveries, because let's be honest, I've got a few. But look at this the Golf. I do like this livery. Absolutely. Don't know what it is, but the colours of it, I really do like it. Wouldn't rule out a project car one day turning out in this sort of livery. Watch your space. None planned at the moment for it, but. It might happen one day, it depends if I get a project car or what project car I get. It might happen, I'd like to see one in that livery. So that's that. Up here we've got amazing, lovely Escort Cosy. Gold pump motors. Looks gorgeous, that does. And we've got a three door and a sapphire cosmos as well, look. I'm going to get her back over there because I've got to keep your uh, revs up, sir. All right, well, that concludes the burnouts for this morning or the midday session. Nice. We are back So, again. that's the concourse paddock. Um, go have a walk over that way a bit more now and um, see what else is over there, shall we? Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that big round of applause for all of the cars. 
Got a few rows of cars here, all sorts. There's a hot rod, I think a uh, Chrysler Crossfire. Lotus, I think, there, or Noble. Uh, again, E30 there. Never trust me with what I call a car. Got um, AJ's Ford there. It's done a lot on the bodywork on that lately. Total respray and other bits. Look at this as well, absolutely immaculate. Yep, yeah, that is, I think you can pick that out. That's a wicked effect on that door. Oh my gosh, it is cool. And we got another row. And a few rows. Quite foggy when we pulled up this morning, but uh, it's cleared now, as you can tell, obviously. But you couldn't even see the other side of the field this morning. It's more... Uh, got more cars. Got auto Alex is stall over there. Adam C there chatting with someone as well. A oh, few more trade stalls. Over here, there's a few like the influencers' cars. There's uh, Adam C's Chaser, which everybody loves. And there's Jack McNeil's Boris, the uh, TikTok inspired micro. This is uh, quite nice too, with a Rocket Bunny body kit on it. I do like that. Yeah. It's quite cool. Now, I'll be the first to admit that I'm not a big lover of Ferraris. Um, I appreciate them, but they just don't do a lot for me. This one here could change my mind. Have a look at this. I really like it. It's different. It's uh, against the rules, against the grain, you know? And that's why I like it. I think it's absolutely wicked. Lovely in there too. But exterior wise, I do, I love it. Obviously it's on air, you know, anyway. But it's mental. Really like it. Over here we've got some of our regular attenders on my videos, and that is Team Tic Tacs. But it seems like they've got a few more different cars there today. Whether we'll see them again tomorrow, where we're at Brands Hatch, I don't know. Um, but yeah, have a look at Team Tic Tac stand here. It's always well organised. But they've got a few extras. Let's have a look. So there's a Ferrari. And then obviously uh, my dream car. Ultimate Green RS. Orange, electric Orange SC. RS. No. And back on another Tic Tac car, so they got a few different here today. So it's like a nitrous blue that too, stripped out, cased. More electric orange Ara ST, the one with that button, we've seen that plenty. The green RS again, another ST, another RS. And then a Lambo. So we've got in the middle of them, again, some of the Tic Tac cars, uh, and a Marvel Avengers RS. 
a Ferrari. And now one of the Team Tic Tacs cars. Always a good stand, always well turned out. They had a lot more here last year, but they always uh, do really well. So, I know it's not been as uh, in-depth as some of my normal like, show view videos, but it's bloody hot again. So, probably gonna wrap it up here, um, save some uh, battery and footage for tomorrow because we'll be four power live tomorrow hopefully we'll get a video from there i don't see why we won't because it's a great show um project d will be on instagram corner tomorrow at four power live so if you're down there come say hi check us out but this video might not even be uploaded by then but i'll try and upload this video tonight so it is in time anyway thanks for watching see you soon